Miss Monkey 1000 and today we're going to make a couple of desserts and they're mainly for diabetic people but of course you can anybody can eat them it's just um you know I'm trying to find things that maybe I can snack on my mother can snack on that um not full of friggin sugar so I'm gonna make two desserts and one's an apple dessert and we're gonna use red apples as I got right here I got the red apples and we are going to use cinnamon and you are going to use nutmeg and that is it it's very simple and you're going to stuff it in the oven and we'll start this one and then we'll do the other one while this one's cooking so here we go I'm going to bring it down so you can see there you go and we're going to cut up those apples. Now, it, I'm not going to use all these apples. It's just, you know, what it is. And, let me see. We'll get a couple of these apples here. And, what you're going to do, you're going to cut out the core, and you're going to slice them. So, I'm going to do one so you can see how I do it, and then I'll chop them all up, and then you can see, okay? Now, you all might have a thing. I used, my mother used to have one of those cork things. And there, I just pop it out. And then you're going to slice it. You don't want to take the skin off because, especially being diabetic, you need the skin. Okay, so we're just going to slice it up. This is the best knife. And we're just going to slice it up like this. Now, it depends how many you, you've got in your family or and how many you know want to eat this um i might do four and see i'm going to put it in this pan as you can see right here and um you know i'm just gonna cut this off here just cut it off and do what you want there's a core there too yeah i'll cut it off so we just do it like this and kind of just Get that core out of there the best you can. I mean, if you have a have a core thing, then you mine. You, you know, use it. I don't have one. I think my mother's is packed away in the in the backyard <laughs> with the rest of her stuff. So, and that thing's very handy. So, and I'm just gonna take off that one off too. So, and then we're just gonna slice them all up. Okay, so just slice them as you like. And then what you're going to do is just lay them in here. That's all you're going to do is lay them in here. I want to cut this piece off here. So we're not eating that. Yeah. So. There we go. I don't think I had one. I thought I did. I, I really didn't look for it. So, Anyway, so that's how you do it. Okay, so I'm going to do these apples. I have four here. I'm going to do them as, I'm sure that's going to be plenty. That's just for me and my mother. Um, Shea Bear, he's not going to have it, so um, so I don't have to worry about that. So I'm going to cut the rest of these up, and we'll be right back. Okay, guys, we got the apples all cut up. Now, I used four because it's just me and my mom, and, you know, it depends how many you're, you want to um, cook for. So that that's what I did was just the four, as you can see. And there you go. So now we're going to put the cinnamon in. What did I do with my little thingy here? There we go. And we're going to put three tablespoons of cinnamon. And I'm going to take the lid off of this. That makes it easier. I'm just going to put three in here. And sprinkle it around. And this helps lower and control your sugar. So. And I'm going to put a little bit less because I get a little bit of heartburn on this. So. It'll be alright. And then we're going to put some nutmeg in there. And all you do is take a pinch of nutmeg. So you're just going to. I'm just going to sprinkle it. Sprinkle it in my hand. And there's your pinch, okay? That's all you need. And some water. Yeah, you, know, you need three tablespoons of water. So I'm gonna rinse this out and use the same thing. And I already pre 
preheated the oven as you just heard um, so you didn't have to wait and uh, you put it on 350 for 35 minutes you're going to put some foil on top and that's all you do that's it simple easy peasy okay so now i'm going to pop this in the oven and we're gonna i'm gonna get ready for the next one and we'll we'll do the next one why this one's in the oven okay so stay tuned okay guys i'm back now i put the that in the oven for 30 minutes not 35 minutes okay so it's 30 minutes and it's only a couple of teaspoons of cinnamon so i kind of overloaded it so i mean if you want to add a few bits i i'm sure it'd be fine but i put a little bit too much i hopefully it won't be too too bad <laughs> we'll find out anyways um so now we're gonna try to do the um banana ice cream because you know diabetics can't really have ice cream and um it's too high and the artificial stuff really hikes my mom's sugar up and it does mine too so i try gonna try this one here so you just get some bananas and you want to get them like they're a little bit green you don't want them fully ripe all the way because it gives you better um nutrients in it better for you so I don't you can you can tear these apart you can break them up and you can put them in the blender but I don't have a blender um, I'm broke and I haven't gotten another one so I'm going to just use the mixer and mix it up a little bit and then that way um, you can see it and we're going to do um, you know a couple of these just to see what what you think and what you do you blend it up I'm going to show you in just a minute. I'm breaking it up as you can, I don't know, sorry, you can't see it. And uh, here, I'm going to bring it closer. So, there you go. And I broke two bananas in there. I'm going to break another banana, so we have plenty. Um, Jay Rare is not going to eat this either. He's not into eating this kind of stuff, but, um, you know. So I make it for my mom and I. And we're just going to do that. So what I'm going to do, oops, I'm sorry, <laughs> hitting the camera here. Okay, so I'm going to blend it. Hopefully this will work because I don't have a blender. So we're just going to mix it up a little bit. And I'll stick these little things in here. Hopefully they'll go in the way I want them to. being stubborn there we go okay they clicked all right so I'm just gonna blend it in here and we'll put this in here there we go so we're just gonna blend it a little bit um, Blend it in. And there. Alrighty. 
so now you can see hopefully there we go I'm gonna bring you up a little bit closer all right so oh all over my hands there. okay so you're going to take a bag a ziploc bag or you know a freezer bag you can, you can put it in here and I'm gonna get a spoon a big spoon here let me see if I got one over here putting my stuff. My daughter was staying with us, so um, she doesn't know where things go, and she was doing dishes, so she uh, kind of put things in a different spots. So all you can do is mix this up. It looks pretty good, I think. I've never really done this, but I think it'll be fine. And what you're going to do is stick it in the baggie, just like so. freezer. You're going to keep it in the freezer overnight, so um, you won't be able to see the end result of this one, but I will um, show you tomorrow. I will do a little video of it. I just want to make sure I got the bag all clean. So, um, of how well it worked, okay? So we're going to stick this in the freezer and keep it in there for overnight, and we'll see how well it works. And that is going to be your banana ice cream. That's what's going to be it. So, and a hot date. It should work out pretty good, hopefully. And that's it. So, um, I'm going to throw these out. All over. And you can make as much as you want. I mean, you can make three or four bags of them and put them in the freezer. And whenever we feel like having a dish of ice cream that's got banana in it, why not? Or you could put it with your, you know, your dessert or something. So, we'll see how well that works. I'm, I'm interested in seeing because I like ice cream and I'm kind of messing it. And I can't, I can't do it. So, um, maybe this will be an alternative. So, when the apples are done, I will turn you back on. So, stay tuned for that. It will be about 20 more minutes and then we'll be back. Bye, you Okay guys, so you hear the beeping going on, so I'm going to take it out of the uh, oven, and we're going to see what it looks like. It smells very cinnamon-y, um, it makes the house smell good too, but make sure you don't do tablespoons, do teaspoons. So, but hopefully this won't be too bad, it should be alright. Um, It'll absorb into the apple with the moisture and stuff, so it should be okay, hopefully. <laughs> so, anyways, ooh. okay, here we go. I'm going to show you how it looks, and it's just hot, hot, hot. There you go. Can you see it? Yeah, that's right there. That's better. So, that's your end result there. And it's got lots of juices in there and all that. I'm going to get a bowl. And I'm going to put some in a bowl and so we can taste it. Okay. Um, I got stuff everywhere. Okay, so I got a scooper here. I don't know where the white red one is. I'll find it. Okay, so I'm going to scoop some of this in here. It's very hot, so you might want to let it cool off a little bit. Just put it in there. And we'll test it. I'm going to bring it back up to me so you can see me. There you go. And it's very hot. So we're going to test this. Mm, very good. Now, what my mother suggested, hmm. not bad at all. 
so my mother suggested I'm putting maple syrup on it. Uh, her mother used to make apples like this, and but she would put the maple syrup inside where you take the core out, and she would bake them uh, like a whole. But um, you can, if you are diabetic, you can use the non-sugar one, or you can leave it like this, which I would probably leave, leave it like this, but I'm going to put a little bit of syrup on hers, because that's what she likes, so we'll try try that. Um, let me get hers together, and I'll put a little bit of syrup on it. I'd like to try it, just see what it tastes like, so hold on. It's sugar free, so that's what I would use. But I mean, you don't want to put, you just put a drizzle on it, nothing more, especially if you're diabetic. So, anyways, I mix it up and we'll try it this way too, see what it's like because that was kind of a good idea. Hmm, oh yeah, that's really good. Hmm, got a little bit more flavor. Hmm. Very good. I'm quite pleased with this. So, mm, very good. So, now for the banana one, it has to freeze overnight, so I will um, bring you back. I'll do another video, maybe tomorrow, an update on the banana, so you can see what it's going to look like when it's frozen, and I can take it out and put it in a bowl. So, I will do that. I'm going to eat this, and I'm going to get my mother a bowl. And, um, y'all have a great rest of the week. Well, the beginning of the week. I don't work tomorrow, so I'll be home. Um, and, yep. Yeah, I got some more videos, some more ideas of doing some stuff. And pretty soon, we are looking at going away sometime in August. Um... And it's going to be a really great place. So um, we're going to hopefully get in because it's a very busy place where we're going. We're going down past Tampa. Well, it's not really past Tampa. It's um, near where the, the big bridge is. So anyways, I don't want to spoil it too much. So um, when that comes up, we will tell you um, a little bit more in detail on where we're going to go. So we're going to go camping, and we're taking Bruno, he can go, and it looks like a really nice place to go, so I'm looking forward to that. And we're probably only going to go for two days, we wanted to go for four days, but um, I haven't found any bookings for four days, so, um, for August, so we'll have to go in the middle of the week, not on the weekend, which is okay with me because it's less traffic, people are busy. Um, but it is summer, so it's, it's just busy time. So, um, yeah. So I'm looking forward to that. So, anyways, Monkey says she's out for now. Y'all have a great evening, and have a great week. And uh, stay tuned for more videos. And check on um, Shaver1000. He's got quite a few more coming up. He's doing his little thing. And uh, he loves his new computer, which he really needed. So, I'm glad that he got it, and I'm glad he likes it. So, that other thing was a piece of junk. And I, I, I wouldn't even want to use it for me, because it just shuts off right in the middle of doing stuff. It's horrible. So, anyways, y'all have a great week, and Monkey says she's up now. Bye, y'all.